Hello, I'm Herr Dr. Sagai from Pittsburgh. And today I will make a prediction of the things astronomical, and the things scientific, and the things financial, and the things political. Because I am the self-proclaimed expert on all these things, because once I had a, a telescope, and I looked at the telescope, the radio, and that made me a radio astronomer, and I went to the Federal Reserve Bank on a guided tour, that made me an expert on all things financial. So, President Trump, the new Secretary of the Treasury, and the Fed head, Janet Yellen, will all ask for my financial expertise. One boy would dig at the wrong guy, I tell you that. Okay, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh, and I just found out my hands are too big for this. And you can use these with an iPad, but they ain't easy, because it works off a of heat. Let me take this silly thing off. Well, I listened to Coast to Coast from three days ago, and they brought on Mike Brown from Caltech. And I think he works at the... Uh, NASA lab, and they brought, and there's a scientist who did a paper with them on Planet Nine, and yet we had this guy who's a self-proclaimed doctor, and it's all over the web, the Daily Mail, the UK Express, and Coast to Coast AM, Dr. Zakharovich or something like that, and he claims an asteroid that NASA said it's going to come 32 million miles. From Earth. Now that's a third of the way to the sun. He claims it's going to hit the Earth next month. I hope he hadn't, it doesn't hurt the Earth on shopping day. 16th of February. Well, at least it won't hurt the Earth for Valentine's Day, so I can get Kathy her present. But it's ridiculous. They know where this asteroid is. They can detect it. Now they can't detect Planet Nine. Although, Dr. Brown, in an interview on 60 Minutes, and other stories that are out there, and he did a paper with Dr. Baccarin of Caltech, said they're looking for it. And they can find it with the use of a telescope in Hawaii 20 days in a row. They can find this thing easy. It just would take time and effort. He says there's 12 other groups of astronomers looking for Planet Nine. And they say it's huge. It's like 5,000 times bigger than Earth, but it's way out there on the Oort cloud, and it's a frozen planet or a cold planet. The only way we can find it is sunlight. That's go all the way out there, bounce off, but come back to the telescope, and then we say, hey, there's a planet out there. And, you know, NASA has, has said about Nibiru, where this Russian astronomer, quote, end quote, and AOL did the quotation marks around his word doctor. In other words, they don't think he's a doctor at all. And I looked all over the web. I can't find any evidence that this guy is a doctor of astronomy or even an astronomer or even that he exists. And yet everybody published this garbage. So you can find Planet Nine. You can find asteroids and comets. We have what? Schumacher Comet was discovered by an amateur astronomer who was later killed. I, I may be wrong on that, but he got run over in Australia. So, um, they'll find Planet Nine if it's out there. And they know where this asteroid is. It's going to come a third of the distance from the sun near the Earth. Unless something hits it like a billiard ball, it's not going to hit the Earth. And Coast to Coast AM and all these news agencies except AOL, and even they publish this ridiculous story that an asteroid's going to hit the Earth next month, do a disservice to the public. I know people have issues with NASA. I have curious issues about they shut off their camera when supposed UFOs are seen around the International Space Station. But I had far more trust a reputable scientist that can be tracked down and called or written at Caltech or at NASA than some Russian astronomer that you've never heard of who has no credentials and who makes up the word doctor in front of his name. Oh, and uh, a private note. Uh, we had, I had two trolls, one saying no one wants to ha see me dead. Well. Going back to the days of SF Redbook, 
I had people in some of those, the same trolls on Sewer Gap, predicting that I weighed 600 pounds, I'd have a massive heart attack and be dead. Well, 15 years later, I'm still here. And the sewer gabbers said I'd stroke out in the hallway, and another troll said with all this stuff in my apartment, and she thought I have massive filing cabinets. Yeah, I do, like the, like the three gunmen, the lone gunmen, sorry, from the X-Files. I got massive filing cabinets full of secret files taken from government, government sources and government repositories that aren't supposed to exist. No, I got one filing cabinet, folks. There it is. And I use it to hold my old tax records when I was working. The rest of this is bookcases and milk crates. And as for my having too much stuff, well, I watched a hoarder's episode that if I were a hoarder and I'm not, if you took all the books out of here and all the milk crates, 90% of the stuff would be gone in the, in the bookcases. I watched a guy that if you were to assume I'm a hoarder, <laughs> made me a rank amateur. This said he had stuff you couldn't even walk into his former dining room. His daughters were living in a space the size of their bed. They had laptops. His wife had a laptop. She had her bed to move in and could get up and off the bed, and that was it. I can walk down the hall, though it's cluttered right now, but there's bins of clean laundry sitting there that eventually I have to go through and figure out where the hell I'm going to put them. I can walk into my bedroom easily. And if I fold up the sofa bed behind me, I can get to the window. I got a vacuum this week. And uh, I can attest to it being cold because I went out there to feed the cats. Earlier the raccoon had showed up and I couldn't feed them, but they were happy to get the last two cats of Frisky. By the way, I underestimated how much cat food I needed because I was feeding extra kitties. The two across from the senior center, the beautiful long-haired orange kitty, the little gray kitty, and orangey. So, I went through too much cat food. The friskies is gone, but that's all right. I'll buy more on Wednesday. And between t today and Wednesday, I have extra cans of Fancy Feast. I'll give the outdoor kitties Fancy Feast and go get some more. I'm just distressed that it's gonna, excuse me, gonna rain Wednesday and Thursday. Damn, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, excuse me. And I drank some hot chocolate, but earlier I ate uh, meatless spaghetti and it's been attacking me. I'm tomato sauce in my stomach don't agree that well anymore. That's why you need other things like vegetables to offset the uh, acidity of the tomato sauce. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, let's not forget the supposed trip by Area 51 drones on and on where he was headed here with a gun to kill me a while back and the closest he wound up was watching softcore porn in a motel in Portland, Oregon. This from a guy who claims he was broke, but he went nuts and disappeared for, I don't know, three days, two weeks, a month, who knows. And, uh, you know, um, people were gonna show up my door and beat the crap out of me and shoot me and everything else. So it's all, it's all sewer gap hype and it's intended to make them feel self-important and give MB more money because every page in that disgusting troll site makes him money. All right, uh, this is George Senator, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great day, and next time you hear a story, an asteroid's going to hit the Earth, go to the experts. Don't go to some self-proclaimed guy in Russia that you've never heard of. Stay safe out there and stay warm. And I'll be back sometime today with another video after I go to the store and get some real food. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.